everybody but you guys. So, uh, uh, but I, I always like uh, seeing the players have an opportunity to thank the fans and, uh, and especially here, the pit crew and, and uh, the people who have followed us all year. So it was a good win for our team. Uh, really battled back in the second half. Um, really made some plays. I thought Oregon State's effort was outstanding in the first half. And, and in the second half, they just didn't hit the shots that they did in the first half. But uh, it was a good win for us. Uh, you know, now we just uh, got to get back. And we'll have a couple days here to, you know, get Dot healthy. And, and DA gave us some great minutes. Man, what a difference he made. And uh, so now we'll just uh, rest a few days and uh, start Monday getting ready for, for our road swing. Do you have an update on Daniel? You know, he, he just took a really hard fall, and, and he worked hard to try to get it loosened up to go, but he just he couldn't move. Um, you know, it's in his hip and his, his rear end, so, you know, I don't know. Um, you know, we're, we're fortunate we got a week because he – I don't think he'd play Saturday. You know, he's going to be stiff and sore for the next few days. Yeah, with the emotion of senior day, uh, how much do you think that might have factored into the second half? And oh, I'm sure it was a big part of it. Um, you know, the guys, you know, we got, I, I'm, I'm very biased, but I think we got good guys, you know, and, you know, at halftime you could see, you know, how disappointed they were and, you know, didn't want to let, disappoint their families who had flown in. And, and uh, so, no, I, I, I think that had a lot to do with it. Um, you know, we're still in the conference race and, you know, I reminded them of that and, you know, we had a lot to play for, and and we weren't we weren't very sharp, you know. And you go three for eight from the free throw line, and and one was a front end, so you're basically three for nine from the free throw line. And I'm not sure how many shots, three or four, we had right under the basket. We didn't finish, you know. And uh, so, uh, and Nelson was was really good. I mean, he he was really on tonight at 22 at half and ended up with 31 we just we couldn't stop him so he was he was really good was that as good a stretch as you know, Tony Woods there in the second half well we had that zone so spread out once you know we hit a couple threes uh, Carlos hit one uh, DA hit one you know then the zone really stretched out and then we had some places to throw it you know they were set pretty tight for a long time cuz you know we only went 5 for 16 but uh, you know, the, the zone was pretty tight until, you know, we hit a couple threes and we got it spread out. And then Tony, you know, really took his time and we finished some plays inside. You know, we just uh, hadn't finished any of those in the first half. We got the ball inside three or four times really good, um, but we just we didn't finish any of them. And and then the free throws, the second half, you know, we go 21 of 25 and, you know, um, what do we shoot? Yeah. Free throws, 21 to 25, second half. So. Dan, what's you do defensively different on Nelson in the second half? Well, I, I thought our awareness was better on him. You know, um, uh, he, he got some curls in that first half and got to the basket. I thought we did a little better job helping there. Um, you know, we, we did not do a good job of hedging those picks and, and making him give it up. You know, when a guy gets on a roll like that, you got to make somebody else make a play, and, and we didn't do a very good job of that in the first half. I thought we did a much better job in the second half. You guys are now 6-1 and one in play with trailing at the half. What is it about your guys that you think turns around for them after intermission? You know, I'm not sure. I, I guess it's just poor preparation for the first half. Uh, um, but, uh, you know, our guys are competitors, you know, and, and uh, that's always a quality uh, – you know, you look for. I, I don't think we've ever been in half, and we've been down double digits, you know, that we've ever panicked. You know, uh, I've been upset, and I've challenged them, but, you know, I'm not sure we were ever in a panic. But uh, um, our efforts definitely have been better in the second half, which, you know, surprises me because the guys know what's on the line and their preparation should be a little bit better. Was 12 minutes about what you had in mind for DA? And you know, we were, we were 10 to 12 is what we, we had then Johnny's foul trouble, you know. Uh, so I wanted to try to get to the eight minute mark with, with DA, you know, and then was hoping like heck I didn't have to use him again. Um, and, and we were fortunate, we, you know, Johnny didn't get that fifth foul. Um, Cause I'd had a decision to make whether to, 
you know, go to Willie, uh, put D in, DA in for a couple more minutes and, and see if we could get the lead extended a little bit more. So uh, I'm glad Johnny didn't, didn't put us in that position. You, know, you, you always like to go inside, but this is even increased. The games the last two games for both Lloyd and uh, Woods. What have you seen out of them, or what's it like for you to even see them come around finally after some struggles all year? Well, you know, part of Tony's we don't give him the ball enough. You know, he doesn't he didn't ask for it enough, but uh, – uh, we don't get it in there enough to him, and and Johnny, you know Johnny wants to make plays, and uh, you know for him to go four for nine, and you know getting double figures again, you know three assists, no turnovers, four steals, um, you know he's he's battled hard, and uh, he's going to have to have a big week for us next week. I'm, you know I'm hoping by the conference tournament we can keep in, inching those minutes up for DA, uh, but Johnny's going to have to have a big week for us next week. Uh, you know, we'll be splitting time maybe a little bit more, but, you know, Johnny's doing a great job, and, and we've got to bring D.A. along slowly. You know, he's been out five weeks. You know, you just can't throw him out there. We'll bring him along slowly in practice and, and slowly in games. Okay, last question for Coach. Kind of touched on what kind of lift the D.A. gave you, especially, I mean, hit the shot that I think gave you guys the lead for good. <clears throat> well, I, I just think that, you know, just his personality, his competitiveness, uh, he goes two for three after not playing. Uh, he had the one turnover in the first half where he tried throwing a one-handed pass that, that wasn't good. But uh, other than that, he tried to guard. Um, you know, he blocked out a couple times. So I, I thought his 12 minutes, you know, were really good. And, uh, you know, the two threes, you know, we only hit five, you know. So his two threes were pretty big in spreading that zone out, one in the first half, one in the second. You know, he's just a threat. You know, and uh, he's shooting now with these two uh, way over 50 percent in conference play from three. So that's a, that's a big threat. Uh, he, he came in tonight's game in the six conference games. He was 50 percent and went two for two for tonight. So those are those are big shots. Thank you. Coach. All right.